On the 24th of January 1948, inside of a Polish execution chamber within Montelupich prison, a former brutal SS officer and guard who worked in Auschwitz concentration camp was led up to the noose. There were meat hooks in the ceilings of the chamber, and then on these was the executioner's rope, and then the 48-year-old was taken onto a stool before the noose was secured. Within Auschwitz, the deadliest concentration camp of the Second World War, there were thousands of former guards who escaped any form of punishment, and only a few were ever brought to trial for their actions. Some had participated in the slaughter of hundreds of thousands, but still today there are people who are being searched for to answer for their crimes 80 years ago. Josef Kolmer was noted for his brutality inside of Auschwitz and other camps, but what did he do that sent him to the execution chamber? Welcome to the Untold Past. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. Josef Kolmer was born on the 26th of February 1901 inside of Bavaria, where the first shoots of the Nazi party would emerge in the decades later. He worked as a farmer for many years, but then on the 1st of January 1935, he would become a member of the SS. This had in the years before been a small protection force who protected Hitler and senior Nazis, but they expanded to become the brutes who staffed the concentration camps. Kolmer had also worked for a number of years inside the German police force, and they had been Nazified within different towns and cities. But in May 1937, he signed up as a member of the Nazi party officially, two years after he had become a member of the SS. As the Second World War waged on, he was drafted into the Waffen-SS, the armed forces section of Himmler's paramilitaries, and he saw combat for some time, but he was then sent at some point to Auschwitz to work. This may have been due to injury on the front line, or due to the expansion of Auschwitz under the Commandant Rudolf Hirsch. Hirsch dreamed of creating a killing site like no other that ran on efficiency and slaughtered as many people as quickly as possible. For him to do this, he recruited many different SS officers to work inside of his camp. Josef Kolmer, inside of Auschwitz, was in charge of various different guard companies, meaning he was looking over the brutal guards who were encouraged to inflict violence onto the prisoners. He would also oversee those who carried out execution and torture, and he enforced the ruthless rules of the camp. After working at Auschwitz for around two years, he was then sent to work at Mittelbau Dora, a smaller site, for a number of months, before he was in May 1944 sent back to Auschwitz. He then worked inside of Monowitz, the IG Farben slave labour site, where prisoners were forced to make different products, and he was known for being an overseer, who would not allow prisoners much time to rest. But also during his work inside of Auschwitz, Kolmer got involved in the executions and slaughter of prisoners and inmates. He was known for carrying out executions using gunshot and firing squads on the death wall. This was an execution structure found between blocks 10 and 11. Many of those who were executed on the death wall were never recorded as prisoners of the camp. They were just executed against the wall. Many were Polish prisoners captured by the German army and also Soviet POWs who were shot. It's said that over 11,000 prisoners and over 6,000 prisoners of war were executed within Auschwitz and many of these took place against the death wall with executioners such as Kolmar dispatching victims with his weapon. He also executed people inside of Monowitz and the factories there. At the end of the Second World War, Josef Kolmar was one of the former guards who was brought to trial and he was tried by the Polish Supreme National Tribunal. The court heard of his crimes and actions inside of the deadliest concentration camp and for this he was sentenced to death for crimes against humanity. He was taken to Montelupich prison for a brief period until his execution was carried out on the 24th of January 1948. He was one of many former guards of Auschwitz executed on that day, and Kolmer was led into the execution chamber, where a number of hooks and nooses were dangling from the ceiling. There was a stool underneath these, and Kolmer was then told to step on the stool, and the noose was secured around his neck, before the stool was kicked out from underneath him, and he slowly strangled to death. Josef Kolmer was one of a number of guards who worked in Auschwitz, who was executed for his crimes, but many more, thousands more, managed to evade capture, and they never saw justice for the horror they got involved in during the Second World War. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe, and once again, thank you so much for watching.